Hello, Jan here from Into the Woods. So I'm continuing the story of um, my basket making adventures. Um, after that first weekend, I had made one of these square chunky baskets and for the next few years I continued in the same vein. I made lots of these baskets. Um, now, some of the best ones I don't have anymore because I gave them away. I kept the ones that I didn't think were good enough to give to people. Um, but I had lots and lots of fun using the same basic structure, um, using different colours to enliven them, different sizes, so I made smaller ones. Um, I made a couple of waste paper baskets, um, a bit wonky. <laughs> very wonky actually. Um, made some little ones that got a bit lost at the top and came in and actually they're really useful because they're very stable if you want to store something. Um, yeah made a lot of those baskets but really was kind of stuck with the same shape. So I was excited to go on another course, a day course, to make an Irish skilp. And here it is. This is an Irish skilp. It's a very traditional basket from Ireland and it's a potato basket. So it's kind of a, um, a traditional colander. Um, the people at that time in Ireland were subsisting on potatoes. So they would have a big pot, they would boil up the potatoes in their skins and then they would strain the potatoes through the skilp and they would place the skilp either on the table or on the floor and everybody would gather around and pick up the potatoes and I don't know, like peeled them? Or did they eat the peel? I'm not sure. Anyway, so this was a day's project. Um, it was hard work. It's amazing how long it takes to weave once you get to a bigger diameter like this. Um, and at one point the the teacher we were just you know like sweating cobs trying to get this finished for the end of the day weaving and weaving and weaving away and <laughs> the teacher said yeah they would just run one of these up in their lunchtime when they were working in the fields <laughs> yeah skilled people it wouldn't take them so long to make it but um, you can see I have got some colors here just a few subtle subtle colours. Um, I have seen some on the internet. If, if you go, if you google skill or potato basket, you'll see some amazing ones, yellows and reds, really beautiful. Mine's very simple and I keep it in my pantry to store my vegetables in. It's perfect. <laughs> 